Hi, I'm Jill Bright, Executive Director of Tawny, and I'm in the Tawny Center today with Kathy Burns. Kathy is a quilter and a member of the quilt group Fiberistas. Today we're talking about a recent project the Fiberistas have completed. It's called Landscape, and it's a series of slices made by members of the group depicting landscapes. So Kathy, thank you for coming by today. Thank you, Jill. Um, when you decided to participate in this project, how did you think about what you were going to do with your slice of it? I wasn't sure how to narrow it down. Um, I do love our North Country. The nice thing about this pandemic is that the, the, our North Country is a giant playground. And my husband and I have been able to go out and enjoy it. And although this quilt was made months ago, um, it has added meaning to me because of the pandemic. And so I knew that I would want to have water in this. I grew up in Jefferson County and would go to Lake Ontario. And so I um, loved the water. And so I knew I wanted a piece of water, but it had to be foreground, middle ground, um, background. So what would I put between the water and the other? Uh, this little piece, was um, a snippet that one of the other fibristas just had all these little pieces, do you want them? And it's fun to just have interesting scraps. And I did not have anything that was like this, um, you know, the style of fabric in my stash already. As far as the creative process went, I did um, limit myself to um, using what was in my stash. And that can be an incredible um, confining Thing. And then there were all the construction decisions that had to be made. What kind of stitching do I want to use in each of these places? Do I even want to add a contrasting color up in the sky, which, is, which I did this hum on display, but then we had them back and someone suggested, could you add some more to the sky? And when I put the blue in, I was really happy. It just this cloud seemed so lonesome. It needed some other clouds definition, just to, to give it a little more punch. Um, this is the first landscape quilt I've ever made. It was a wonderful exercise to do something, a first attempt. And um, I needed, to, as far as using my stash, I needed to somehow focus down a landscape, which is such a big, broad concept. So that helped, that was one of my defining things. The, the color palette is very simple, and sometimes, um, sometimes less um, can not be more. Sometimes less makes things a little more complicated because you need to have more interesting stitches or um, other things going on. Um, I'm new to quilting, so every project that I do, um, there's so much room for growth. And it's wonderful to be part of the Fiberistas because there's so many years of experience and knowledge that I can draw from. They're, they're right there, and they're such a supportive, wonderful group of women. It's a treat to be part of the Fiberistas. Now you are a professional seamstress. Um, to what extent do those skills translate into quilt making? Uh, a bulk of what I do in my work, my daily work, is um, alterations, tweaking. So there's, there's, not, oh, there's not a lot of connection, which makes this um, uh, much more creative. Look, it's, I think it turned out beautifully, and I think for a first landscape, you should feel very good about yourself. It's, it doesn't look like a first landscape. Oh, thank you. So thanks for coming by today, and thank you for joining us. We'll be bringing you interviews with other members of the Fiberistas in the coming weeks, and we hope you'll join us for those.